In this video, I'm going to show you how I attach buttons to my Audrey's cardigan. So to do the job, I have this small tapestry needle right here. And it came in a set by, um, by Clover. So you can see it's called Gold Eye Tapestry. What I like about these is that um, it's smaller than a traditional tapestry needle that you would typically use to weave in ends, but it's larger than a typical sewing needle. So it's easier to thread your yarn through. So step one is to prepare the yarn that you will use to attach the button. I typically use the same yarn as I did in the sweater, but if it's bulky weight like this, I'll often deply it a bit just so it's a little thinner. The reason for this is so that I can go multiple times in and out of the buttonholes for a strong enforcement. If I didn't deply, it would be too thick to go in and out multiple times. So let me show you how I do that. I just cut a little piece here just so I can demo it for you. So to deply, you just wanna separate the plies with your fingers, just like this. And you could do two or three plies for your, um, for your buttonhole. And you just wanna slowly go like this. The slower you go, the less likely that it's going to tangle as you're undoing it. So just like that, you'll keep going. Now I've gone ahead and have one sort of prepped and ready to go. So let me show you. I have one right here threaded through my needle. And the last step I have to do before I'm ready to actually attach the buttons is I like to do a little knot at the end. This is just the method that, that I find works for me. So I still like to leave a little bit of a tail and I'll do a double knot like this. So there, there you can see it right there. Okay, so now we're ready to attach our buttons. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and attached my top button already. The first step is that you want your, your fronts to lay nice and flat and very parallel to each other. Now, as you can see here, my buttonholes fall in the pearl gaps right here. And so I wanna have my button on this side be on the corresponding pearl gap area, but on this band. So as you can see, my buttonhole is right in that position there. So we're gonna go ahead and attach the button here. So here's our pearl gap. And again, kind of lining this up well, the corresponding area on this band would be right here. So let's go ahead and attach it. I'm gonna move this up here. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the button in the area right here with my left hand. And then with my right hand, I'm gonna to go to the wrong side of the work and I'm gonna go into the first buttonhole here. And before I pull it through, I just sort of make sure again that it's placed well and it's corresponding well to any other buttons I've already attached. And then I'm going to pull it through. Now, because I did a little bit of a knot, it does stop. And then I'm gonna go into the next hole and then pull it down. So then I'm gonna go into the bottom hole like that, pull it up and then go down. And then I like to turn the wrong side of the work over, just make sure everything's looking okay. Just sort of tighten that up a little bit. So now I'm gonna repeat that step another time or two. So I'll go into the top. And then I'll go into the bottom again. Oops. I'm gonna go one more time. Okay, that's feeling nice and secure. And then I'm gonna flip it over. 
And then I like to do a, another knot. So still with the tapestry needle threaded through, I would just go like this and just do another cinch there. And then I just like to do a little weaving in of my end, just like this, just to give it a little bit more extra security. And then I will take my needle off and then I bring it on this side, make sure that it's feeling nice and secure. And then I'll just go ahead and snip the ends like so. And it's pretty invisible doing it this way. And it's nice and secure on the front. So you'll repeat those steps for the remainder of the buttons on the sweater. So that is my method of attaching buttons to your sweater. 